The human race went invisible seven decades ago. Religious groups called it Armageddon. In some ways they were right. The world as we knew it had ended. There were millions of theories as to why or how it happened. Physicists are tying it to wave particle duality in quantum mechanics. Yes, I can feel your collective question marks resounding. It's a bit heavy to get into before my morning cup of coffee, but I heard someone explain it like this. Every particle exists as a wave function until it's observed or measured, some shit like that. There's a lot more to it, but long story short, until something is seen or observed, it doesn't exist. Complete mindfuck, right? Guess that answers the age-old question. If a tree falls in the woods and no one is around to hear it, does it make a sound? No, it doesn't. Here's where it gets even weirder. About 10 years ago, people started reappearing. We call them visibles. They discovered that if a person expressed who they truly are, good or bad, and another person saw it, they suddenly appeared, and they actually stayed in their visible form. But what makes a person who they really are? How does someone even express that? What the fuck does that have to do with wave particles? Still confused? <laughs> Welcome to the party. When everything first happened, it was complete anarchy. I'll spare you the gory details, but imagine what would you do if you were invisible? and everyone disappeared. A lot of people went insane. Either killed themselves or killed others. It was a dark time. But, hey, <laughs> a lot of wicked people got their asses handed to them in a giant karma-filled shit sandwich. Only the strong and adaptive survived. So, <laughs> silver lining. To be honest with you, I like being invisible. I can't imagine things any other way. I paint, I draw, I run my own little gallery. I live a life free of judgment or pain. Thank you. Descartes said, I think, therefore I am. I just am. There are zero customers remaining. You are alone. One customer has entered. Good afternoon.
I haven't seen him visible for months. Hi. I feel like I'm looking at a unicorn. Hello? God, so nice to see real paintings for a change. Actual paint. <laughs> Heartbreaking how rare that is. Something so raw and tactile about paint, you know. You just don't get that with digital. Absolutely, yeah. It's... It's so refreshing to hear someone say that. Hmm. What do you think of them? Um, honestly? Oh, that's not good. No, I think they're cool. I think they're cool paintings. I do. I, I think there's something missing. Um, they feel empty. They feel sad. Wow, that's, that's uh, honest. Oh, God, you painted them, didn't you? Sorry. No, don't, don't apologize. It's... Honesty is a very rare thing these days. Hmm. Well, that's true. You don't get many visibles around here, do you? What do you mean? You're not intimidated by me. Intimidated? No, no, I'm... <sighs> I'm intrigued. <laughs> oh, well, that's refreshing. And rare. Probably why I'm still single. <laughs> wow, well, that's, um, that's definitely his loss. Uh, as we are... ...sharing a moment. Are we? Yes. How... What did you... How did you become visible? I grew tired... ...of being afraid. Are you saying I'm afraid? Do I look afraid? What? <laughs> I don't know. I think I just... When I became pregnant, it was like a light went off inside me. Being who you're created to be... ...takes courage. It's scary. But when I knew what that was, I couldn't go back into hiding. My child will have a different life. My child will know what their mother looks like. Who their mother really is. And I hope that gives them the courage to be who they want to be. So once the decision was made, the rest was actually pretty easy. I woke up one morning and I let them see. You let them see. That makes it sound like you have a choice. You do? Oh, okay. I'm now officially late. Oh, wait, wait. You, go. wait, wait just, you just gotta, please, um... You can't, you can't leave just yet. Stay. No, I do. I have, I have an appointment. Thank you. Oh, uh, oh, oh what, I, I've got some, uh, I've got some, some paintings coming next Tuesday. Would you, would you come back? Um, I'll try. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye. There are zero customers remaining. You are alone. Those scientists have it all wrong. We're not people. We're ghosts. Drifting through life. Barely existing.
I used to think, what's the point of living? But the better question is, what's the point of living if it's a counterfeit life? One customer has entered. You made it. Was there any doubt? There's actually only one new painting. I. I haven't had a chance to hang it yet. Would you like to see it? Definitely. What are you calling it? Thank <laughs> you. 